every video, every video that you've seen on YouTube that talked about, this is how I traveled for two weeks in Europe with a carry-on only. They're all liars. They've all lied to you. Hi lovelies, welcome to Flirting with Travel. I am Lexi and I have just come back from Budapest. Now, I did not pack right. I've redone my packing list in my mind to think of what should I have taken for my weekend in New York, my two weeks in Budapest, and then my weekend in Jordan. For short, what I should have taken to Budapest. In my, my zeal to pack correctly, I overpacked and I was forced to check my bag. Not because it was oversized, but because it was overweight. If you don't know, most international airlines only allow for eight kilogram carry-on bags, which is about 17 pounds. Now, my carry-on bag that I took to start was like 8.6 pounds empty. And so there was very little way that I was going to get my clothing under. Oh my God. I'm burying the lead. My bag was overweight, so it got checked. Well, it got lost in Geneva. I get in Monday night. My bag doesn't get to me until Thursday. So what we're gonna do is talk about what I wish I would have brought. I'm going to pack it up, I'm going to put it in my bag, and I'm going to weigh it to see how close I can get it to actually being 17 pounds. To pack most efficiently, I follow the 4-3-2-1 method. This allows you to mix and match your clothing. This is going to include four tops, three bottoms, two layering pieces, and two pairs of shoes, one pajama, and once I start folding, I use the KonMari method, which is folding things down to rectangular blocks. So for this top, it's a bodysuit, not something I'd wear on the plane, but a great layering piece when I'm out and about. This is a merino wool half zip sweater. I find that it's so toasty. It's great in slightly warmer weather with just a tank top underneath, or I can put the bodysuit underneath if it's a little bit colder and I want to be just a teens bit warmer. Then, this is the compression tank that I take with me almost everywhere. Not so much because it holds me in, it's not a miracle worker, mainly because it's, again, a good layering piece that adds a great amount of warmth. I always find that it's great to take one top that you can take to dinner. This is a perfect dressy top that you can wear, but it also works for your day to day. Next, I like to bring a knit sweater. This one is great because it's lightweight. It's not a super chunky sweater, so it's fairly easy to fold down, but still incredibly warm. One additional sweater, again, not overly chunky knit, but it is warm and it gives enough style because it's a print. Faux leather leggings. These are a dream to pack with. They take up virtually no space. They're fleece lined, which means they're incredibly cozy, easy to travel with. I didn't take these on my first trip and I wish I had. Black denim just makes sense. It can be worn everywhere. Now, these joggers are definitely something that you wear on the plane because they're a little bit bigger, but again, just warm and cozy. For my pajamas, I take one set, but personally what I found is that you can actually pick up something from any H&M or similarly relatively inexpensive store. Just get an extra t-shirt if you want to have more in the way of pajamas. But to me, it's not worth the real estate in my bag to bring them. If you're really pressed for real estate, leggings and a tank top work as well. For added warmth, at least two scarves, one hat, one pair of gloves, and thick wool socks. For my two scarves. So this scarf is actually quite large. It is very large, but it's also so thin, you can see that it can pack down much smaller. Then this scarf is very lightweight, but it's nice and warm because it's long enough that I can wrap it around my neck a few times and be good. And I don't know why I thought, I was like, oh no, you need the, the biggest, thickest, coziest scarves. 
Layers. Layers are your friend. Now let's talk about the logic of what you're supposed to wear on the plane. So you want to wear your biggest items. I'd probably wear these just because they take up so much space in your bag. My faux leather joggers. What I like about them for wearing on a flight is that they have elastic waist so they're comfortable. They have deep pockets. So you can hold your phone. Once you get off the plane, you can put your passport in it and it's going to be okay. I would probably just put my compression tank on. So you're warm, you're cozy, you're wearing your biggest, heaviest items on the plane, but it's not so much that you're gonna feel like overly warm. Okay guys, let's talk about something incredibly important, bags. So when I went, I took my level eight bag and I usually have to go back and forth between my Monos and my level eight. Okay, so this is the level eight, this is the Monos. Just so that you can do a side to side, you can see the Monos is demonstrably taller. But if you put them one in front of the other, what you would notice is that this bag is actually deeper than the Monos bag. So with that in mind, if you're needing to take a smaller bag, the level eight is a good option. However, this is real fun. The level eight is heavier than the Monos bag. So when you are traveling somewhere like Europe where they have both limitations on size and weight that is smaller than what we're used to carrying in the US, you really have to prioritize. And I thought in my mind, okay, take the smaller looking bag because then they hopefully won't need to weigh it. However, people that work for airlines, they spend all day doing this. They know when a bag is too big and they are quick to clock you. So we're gonna try packing with our level eight. Now you're gonna notice I'm not using packing cubes. The reason for that is that packing cubes are amazing, but I don't think they work in bags where you're folding halfway. for our shoes is stuff them with our socks. So for these socks, they're so big, we're gonna do one, fold it in thirds, and put it in. Do one, fold it in thirds, and stuff this in. That way, we're not gonna like have to worry about our shoes entirely losing shape. You know what, gloves are just gonna go in. And voila! Now, I have actually packed all of my clothes into one side of the bag, which means that I have room for like my tech bag, my toiletry bag, etc. But we're worried about weight, which means let's do a quick preliminary weight check. I just want to see how heavy we are given that one side of the bag is virtually entirely empty. So I complained to Misty nonstop about my fear of my bag being overweight. So she got me a, a, a luggage scale. Okay, so we flip it through. Okay. 16.6 pounds. Let's try this in kilograms. 7.8 kilograms. We are literally at weight. I've just put in my clothing and my shoes and nothing else, and we're already at weight. Okay, because I currently don't have any toiletries, I don't have my laptop, I don't have my tech pouch, just have my clothing, shoes, and a hat. Okay, so here's what we're gonna try. We're gonna try packing the Peak Design backpack, seeing how much I can get in here. Here's my only problem with the idea of using a backpack for a trip that's a month long. 
It's not that I don't feel like I can fit everything. It's that my clothing with that bag was already the 17 pounds. And if you have a backpack, where are you putting your toiletry bag, your tech bag? Like, this is already, now it's on your back, which means that you either have to take what? A second backpack on your front. <sighs> Starting to wonder if you're just gonna be forced to check a bag because I am really stymied as to how I could take less. Let's try some stuff. So we're gonna take everything out of here, put it into packing cubes, put this into a backpack, weigh it out, and then see what I can get as far as toiletries. Okay, so I got all of my clothing into a medium Peak Design packing queue. We're gonna try with this backpack to see what we can do. Here we go. We're putting in our packing queue. We are going to, at the top, throw in our shoes and just so that you can see we still have a good amount of room throw in my scarf so that's not where it's going to live and now we're going to weigh this so that we can see how much latitude i have to put my toiletry bag and tech pouch in here okay we're at pounds ready 12.4 pounds so just by changing out the bag, we've shaved off a good amount of weight. Let's go to kilograms. 5.25 kilograms. So we have five pounds that we can use for everything else that needs to go into this bag. I haven't started with things like umbrella, water bottle, toiletries, tech pouch. So let's see how little... Fuck, I haven't put my laptops in here. Oh, I'm so annoyed. What would you take out? I guess I could travel with just one pair of shoes, but literally, what's the point of even existing if you have to live that joylessly? I could get rid of a shirt. Like, let's see. A shirt's not gonna make that big of a difference. Probably cutting it down to one sweater. So let's say we're going through this again and we decide to take out this sweater. Now, mind you, I only have one pair of pajamas for two weeks of travel. Do you know how much laundry I'm going to have to fucking do to accommodate this? Pardon my language. So annoyed about this. Okay, so we're going to take out the sweater, zip it back up. We should have no problem with the compression now. We could probably even fit this scarf in here. In fact, we will fit this scarf in here. Should we take out one of our scarves? Now, here's the problem. I'm only going to carry one jacket which then means that if I only have one scarf, every picture you're gonna see me in that one jacket and one scarf every time I'm outside. So that's why I'm at least bringing two scarves so I can mix it up. But I am gonna put in both of my laptops and see if we've hit weight already. Now you might be thinking, why do you travel with two laptops? Well, I do a lot of editing when I'm sitting in airports. So I need my MacBook Pro for that so that I can afford my travel, I have to travel with my Dell. We're gonna weigh it, but I'm pretty sure, pretty fucking sure that that's five extra pounds right there. We're probably overweight, and this is with taking out the sweater. Now mind you, again, the only difference is that we added our laptops. 7.1. Kilograms, so 15.6 pounds. We can add 1.4 pounds of toiletries and tech. Is this impossible? Literally, is this impossible? Oh my God, is this a fool's errand that I have tasked myself with? 
Okay, so what, what would I take with toiletries if one pound of toiletries? Um, a toothbrush. I mean, I guess you can just use your finger. Why even waste the the ounces that it would take to take a toothbrush. Oh my. This is the Peak Design Tech Pouch. This is the bag that I typically carry when I'm going somewhere, but I think it's gonna be too heavy. You know what? Let's just have some fun with it. Let's see how much this bag weighs. Oh, this is one kilogram, damn it. It's 2.2 pounds. I was so excited for a second. Guys, I was like, oh my God, it it works. I'm going to try this bag and see if it's gonna be lighter weight. One point three pounds. If we take out our long cord and our nice bag, we can now get this in to our suitcase or to our backpack, and we should just be. We're at seventeen pounds. Eighteen point four pounds. Okay. 17 pounds exactly. Okay, so we can take one laptop, our lighter tech pouch, and our clothing pared down without the extra sweater that I was going to bring. That could work. Exfoliating washcloth, bar soap, lotion, deodorant, oil for my hair, perfume, hyaluronic acid that I put in this little container, laundry detergent. So we are going to pack that into our gravel bag. I do actually have this gravel bag. However, on my most recent trip, I think I overstuffed it and it broke. So I'm going to replace this, but I'm gonna show you how it looks in it. So I use my gravel toiletry bottle. So just put that in sideways, my perfume, my liquid, and my deodorant. And so that's pretty neat. And then that can go right into the back in here. And if I have extra room, what I'll do is I can push that in. So then this is in the back. Then in the front, you've got tons of pockets. For makeup, I'll carry an eyeliner, foundation, eyebrow pencil, a little bit of eyebrow primer, some concealer, mascara. I always carry a red lipstick, and then my new favorite brown lipstick, and then a bronzer. Then I use this to apply my foundation. So, Despite the fact that these are liquids, I do put them inside of the bag. Never had anyone open it and catch me on it. So, all my makeup packs up pretty neatly. Put this in here. And then this will just pack it into here. And so this is if I have stomach problems, Alka-Seltzer for stomach, keep two of those. Congestion relief. I'm down to my last Claritin, some Pepto-Bismol tablets. And last but not least, my menstrual cup. I've considered removing some of these, because I'm like, ah, oh, you don't use it most of the time when you travel. They've been packed and repacked so many times, but when you need it, it's so good to have. Copy in there. Okay, that is all of my toiletries. Editing Lexi here. I know I joked earlier about not bringing a toothbrush to save the weight. I did actually pack one. 
I just cannot find the footage. So accept this video as me packing my toothbrush. Okay, so we have everything else that we want to take. I was trying to figure out what bag I would use because typically I like to do a little backpack that I put under the seat, but I forgot that this used to be one of my favorite travel bags. But to start with, throw in our laptop. We'll put in our toiletry bag. My water bottle will fit right in. Then I can put my headphones on the top. I've got a nice zippered pocket in the back that I can throw in. Oh, I've already got some chapstick in here. Win. My wallet, my cards, my work ID. So those can all be accessed super easily. And I like it because it's against your body. Then you've got some internal structure. I'm going to put my little shopping tote. Just zip it in. Okay, my external hard drive. And then on the front, I've got a pocket. So I'll just slip in my umbrella. And now I've packed out my bag. What I would actually do is once I get through security, they've already weighed my bag. I would then take this out of my bag, put it in my backpack, and then my bag would be super empty, much more lightweight, but I would have gotten through the hardest part. Okay guys, we have figured it out. This is how we are gaming the system. So, this is how you actually take carry on only to Europe for two weeks. You cannot use a hard sided suitcase. They're just too heavy. Even the lightest weight ones are too heavy. You would need something that is under like sub five pounds. This is the coat that I would take with me. Okay, I've got my jacket, I've got my bag, got my backpack. Yeah, this doesn't feel too bad. Okay, we did it. This was a journey to get there, but we figured out how to pack for two weeks in Budapest with just a carry-on bag in the winter. <sighs> I feel so accomplished. Let me know if you've had your bag weighed the last time that you went to Europe or Asia. Otherwise, peace.